Okay, I'm going to talk about colour change in peppers. Now, when I say peppers, I'm talking about sweet peppers and chili peppers. They're all capsicums. Well, peppers, just like tomatoes, as the fruit develop, they start one colour and then they ripen to another colour. And there are very distinct colours. Everybody knows the green pepper. Well, the green pepper is unripe. It will always be unripe. So when you see a green pepper in a supermarket, you know that it's unripe. You get... A, Normal green like that, you can also get dark green, then the paler green, and you can get some very, very pale green. These are all unripe peppers. And actually, they're all unripe chilli peppers, these here. Other unripe colours in peppers are purple, this beautiful lilac purple, that's a sweet pepper. And then I've got some chillies here, going from that lilac purple to darker to almost black. Now that is purple, although it, the pigment is purple, although it does look black. You never actually get a black chilli, it is always a purple chilli. And the third unripe colour is pale yellow, like these ones here. Sometimes you might have a pale yellow chilli with some purpling on the top. So these are all unripe peppers, sweet peppers or chillies. So those are the unripe colours. Now what are the ripe colours? Everybody knows the standard red. And that is the most common colour. So red is a ripe colour. You also get orange, yellow, and a fourth ripe colour is this brown. You get variations on the theme. You can get pale orange and pale yellow. So these are all the ripe colours. The change from unripe to ripe can be straightforward, straight from green to red, as we all know, or straight so green to yellow, but it can be a little bit more complicated as well. When you get a yellow chilli, you nearly always get a very distinct orange phase in the, in the middle. The orange is from a pigment called um, carotenoid, and then the red is a lycopene pigment, so these are very distinct phases, yellow, orange, red. Unripe, ripening up to ripe. With the purple ones, it's a little bit, even, a little bit more interesting. You get, when you get a purple chilli like this one here, this is a variety called Numex Twilight, the underlying chilli is yellow. You see this very mature one here that's just developing and you can see it's yellow. As it develops up and gets to its full size but it's unripe, it gets purple. Then as it starts to ripen up, it loses that purple pigment and starts to turn yellow because the underlying colour is yellow. And there it's yellow. And then you go from the then you get the orange and red phase. So they go purple, yellow, orange, red. But if the underlying chili is green, not yellow, then you get this. It goes because it's green, the purple on top makes it look almost black. Then as the purple pigment breaks down, the chili actually turns green, then to orange and then red. Now, why is it important about colour change? Well, the thing is, as, as peppers ripen up, the flavour changes. Think of a tomato, the flavour changes, something ripens up. The ripening process produces more, more sugars. And so, which flavour do you like best? Choose your chilies for the flavour that you like. And the other thing with chilies is, of course, as they ripen up, they get hotter. So you've got to know what's ripe and what's not. I often get asked when I'm talking to people at shows, when can I eat it? Well, the answer is you can eat it any time you like. Chilies and sweet peppers, there are no rules. Eat them unripe, eat them immature, or eat them fully ripe. You can eat them whenever you like. Okay, thank you very much.